Hi, everybody. Stopped raining for a little bit, so I figured I'd do a quick update on things going on here since I haven't done a video in a while. Uh, we'll go out to the this loft first. In here, I just have these two uh, homers. We have two babies. Um, that yellow tiger flight has eggs with the red tiger. And then I have that black tiger flight who is chasing around that dumb tiger. So hopefully they'll have eggs soon. I can see they have. making a little nest so we should have eggs that's the yellow and the red tiger eggs and over here we have the babies from the homers let's see if we can put this one in the light so you get a little color I'm not sure what that's going to be, if that's going to be like a sooty red or what. I don't see any barring. There's that one. And then this one here, which looks like it's going to be all white, which I did not expect out of them, but you never know. Put them back. Oh, come on, guys. Uh, they're not. Just leave that off for now. So that's what's going on in there. Those homers after they, uh, after they. Um, those babies are weaned. I'm planning on moving them and the rest of the breeders in the main barn. Uh, a couple days ago, I cut down some trees out back. I'm going to cut that one down that's sitting in front of the camper so they can come in. But my neighbors removed all these trees next to my loft. So now... That used to be all trees that they would sit in. They couldn't approach from that side. They had to fly in from the back here. But now it's all open. I'll be able to see them flying. There's my landing boards up there. Check in the set nets real quick, but this, this is a mess in here. I got to clean in here. It's just satin nets and a couple tipplers, two tippler hens. So I have a couple satin nets available if anybody's interested. Uh, let me know and we can get them to you. I can ship. And I just sent one out this past week to a guy and he was happy with it. So I got a couple more, maybe four or five that I'd like to find new lofts for. Go in the breeding loft here. Uh, two eggs down there. I just pulled some youngers, youngsters out of there. Um, this red red hen and the blue check. They're looking like they're gonna. Lay another round in that nest there. This pair here is two blue bars. They're on two eggs. Up here, let's see if I can sleep again. Nah, it's too dark. There's two babies in there in this grizzle pair. Uh, two fake eggs up there and one. Dunbar pair decided to just lay 
on top of that box. So I'm not gonna hatch them out. These are from the black cockbird, black eagle cockbird and the blue bar hen, hoobin hen. Two nice youngsters there. And I got two in here. Let's see if I can bring them up. That one. This one here, I'm not sure what that's going to be. If that's going to be a red bar. Whoops. Get you guys back. So I got those two. Those two. So two up there. Two eggs there. Two eggs on the other side. And then... With those and the birds I already have upstairs in my young bird section, I'll show you. I'm pretty much done for breeding, so I'm gonna breed a couple extra. For a friend of mine that asked me for some. And then there's a couple pair that I wanna get babies from. But these are my uh, These are my young bird. This is my young bird team so far. I got two sections of young birds. I have this section, which is going to be for club races. There's nine in here and one old bird. These have been out like three times. Uh, so this will be for my young birds team for the races. For like club races. This side, this section is also young birds, but this is going to be for uh, there's 11, I believe, um, young birds that are banded with a FPM, a uh, LPM uh, futurity race bands. So that's what these are going to be training for. So I got some younger ones on the floor, been here for a couple days, got their first round of vaccines and then I got these older birds or not older but first round birds these guys haven't been out yet but I gotta get them out soon I think so That's what this section is going to be. Then I have my individual cages. Uh, this pair here, uh, they have two eggs. I think these eggs are set to hatch on the 11th. This is uh, the red cockbird is uh, off that red head downstairs. And then that hen. Then this pair is um, new together. I just put them together a little bit ago. Um, so there's a Gannis Cockbird and uh, um, what's her name? Co-pilot from Graham put them together see if they'll get some babies and then down here is Jim Jim and her cockbird both macaronis um, they're they're on one egg they just laid yesterday so tomorrow they'll lay the second but uh, they had eggs before but they weren't fertile so um, of course, that's the, the one pair I really was excited to get eggs from and run into the problems. But uh, what I did is I got some went to Foy's and uh, got these fertility pills, which 
hoping it's just going to jump start it. So they got those for seven days. Then I put them back together, and then I'll give them. Uh, they give them a pill a day until the second let eggs laid, and then fingers crossed we'll have some fertile eggs. So we'll see if it actually works or not. But uh, yeah, that's what's going on here. Um, haven't done a video in a while just because it's been crazy. But uh, these guys are in hard body molt. You can see they look like they look like crap. Every day I come in here, there's looks like somebody blew up a down feather pillow, and I gotta clean it up, but that's all right. So, hope everybody's doing well with breeding and letting out your birds for the first time. So, leave a comment. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe and follow along with my season this year. See how things go. So, have a good day. Bye.